So we're gonna take a look at how to play Melissa on the bass. And this is broken down to three parts. We've got the verse, the chorus, and the bridge standard song structure. Let's get right down to it and let's listen to me playing along with the intro verse part. And then I'm gonna break down what's going on for each part. So first off, this song is in the key of E, so it revolves all around that E, and uh, a lot of it's just E major pentatonic stuff. As you'll see, this whole bass line is, uh, is revolving around that. And he starts off, which is a little pentatonic thing, kicking it in here, just going like this, going. So that's just part of this scale right here. If you don't know this, really good to know, especially for this song and just in, in general, of just this two note, uh, sorry, two fret um, shape. Right? And just sliding around that. And then kicking into the real line here, we're going on E. So these octaves, E to E. And it's just rolling right into the next one, F sharp. Doing this same kind of motion here. Then going to G sharp. Right, so, and then I'll turn back to the F sharp. So this is a cool line that, um, the rest of it's kind of all the same, they like that. It's, it's a pretty cool line that it's droning with this E on top that's kind of keeping it going. The bottom note is climbing up and they got these little, you know, pentatonic kind of notes filling, filling that space between it and uh, the guitar is playing, you know, just a full E and then the shape moving up, but it's playing the E in the bottom. So it's got the E droning in the bottom, but the bass has the E droning in the top and the low bass notes are climbing up what sounds like those chords. So it's kind of like this mixed match, but it, it works together. It's got that high note kind of gluing it all together like a pedal and the movement that making it very melodic on the, the bottom that just works um, together. So it's just a beautiful bass line. And uh, that's it, that's basically it for the verse. And that's also just the main groove that happens with the guitar solo at the end, which is really short, but in my backing track, I extend that. Um, so, and I have a track for you with no bass too. So if you like this by the end, I'll put a link in the description down below. You can just take it right there and just play along with this with the charts, you can follow along. And uh, yeah, jam, jam out the long uh, version with no bass. So let's look at the next part, the chorus. Let's see what's going on with that. So now to get out of the monotony, they're climb, mixing it up and they're climbing up with chords, starting on an A, just hitting quarter notes, just going like this, one, two, and then climbing up to B minor, so just playing a B for us. C sharp, D, and then to mix up the monotony of that, we're going just a little E, down to E, and then mixing it up here. I love that part, just in the A. It's just so simple though, it's just A, the fifth, and then open A. And then finally really mixing it up and adding that classic kind of rolling Allman Brothers bass, going on C, sort of C major seven to B, and just going, sliding up. Sliding down to the B, letting it hang and just hang out there. And then it goes back to the verse part. I call it like the break. You know, it's the same as the intro. I mean, the the verse is just that four bar thing. It's, it's like one and a half times through. So it's through the four bars, two bars again, and then it jumps into the chorus. So that's the verse, but it's kind of like, that's just the main groove. It just kind of cuts it in half the second uh, time. And that's it for the chorus. So let's look at the bridge part. This is the little longest and it's got the most chords. Let's give it a listen first. 
So we get it in our ears, you can see it my fingers, and then I'll show you what's going on. So here's also starting on an E, but now you got more movement. We're going then up to a D. And it's just revolving around just D, the root of the chord, the fifth of it, and the root. And if this is stuff you don't know what this stuff means, this, this is you don't need to fully understand this kind of stuff, but it's good as a bass player to start to know at least what roots, fifths, and octaves are. Just the shape here. You know, maybe you've played it a lot, but you just didn't know what it was, but just so fundamental for bass, uh, bass playing and bass lines. And then just a little note here, just hammering into it, so. Then we get the A. That's just going along the A major pentatonic there, so we got a lot of pentatonic stuff, but it's not all just E. Sometimes it follows along the chords. Back to uh, B and back to the kind of root fifth thing. Just this extra note in here, but. Then C sharp minor, just focusing on roots and fifths, going to the fifth below now. A. Roots and fifths, but that throws in the third, major third of A. Back to B. This looks like it all kind of ways written out right in a row, but a little pause there, and then just a little fill back back to the main groove, you know, the intro part, the, the just the main groove you call it, the, or the break part there, and uh, and then there is one more part of a refrain that I don't, I'm not going to play an example because it's just so simple. It's the same thing. You're just going along, you know, the same, and, and then it uh, and then it goes back to the, the it gets cut in half and goes to the C major seven. B part, so it's the same same stuff. And then with the guitar solo, it's the same, just groove over and over. But I've got this pentatonic chart. You can try this stuff out. It's gonna be along with the bass chart, so it's I mean the back bass backing track. So you can just follow along with that stuff and try throwing in some fills. So you're going along, you know, like this, like. Start throwing in some some notes. The charts, you know, going across the whole fretboard. So don't worry about playing it everywhere, but just put it there just in case you want to try a different area. It's a little map, but it's, it's kind of a good one to just stay here. Maybe start getting little fills here, but you know, still revolving around that 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 bass line, and uh, and that's it. And this is not meant to be exact verbatim. There's always gonna be little variations, but this is gonna give you a good framework of kind of what's going on with the tune, Melissa. So hopefully that's helpful. You get the idea of how the song works. But if you got time now, you got your bass. Try out the backing track over here, and I will see you in one of the next videos.